All right, we are at the 2019 Homesteaders of America conference, and we want to show you the people of the conference. Look, we found some people. We are the people. We are people. We got Ben and Meg Holler here from the Holler Homestead. They're some of the people here, but we're going to show you them and all kinds of people from the conference. Let's get started. All right, we're here with Nanda with Homesteaders of America, and what do you do with the, the company and the conference? I am co-owner with Amy Fuel of Homesteaders of America, so I do all the things. How'd you guys come up with the idea? I've talked to Amy a little bit about that, but how'd you guys come up with the dream of putting this whole, the, the company together and this conference? Amy started it, I mean, it was Amy's vision, so to speak, and mm -hmm. then after the, right after the first conference, she asked me to be a partner. It's just one, the main theme, the main goal is community. Because so many of us homesteaders feel isolated. Yes. You know, we feel weird. You know, like when I go to work, because I'm still working, people say, what did you do this weekend? I say, oh, I butchered quail. And they're like, <gasps> you know. So this is a community where we say, no, you're not weird. We're the smart ones. This is a community, you know, to give you support, encouragement, education when needed. You know, just so you know what you're doing. And you have options, because I didn't know when I was raising my boys that I had options. So in three years, this event's grown from maybe about 1,000 people the first year? Less than, that. Less well, than about that. a thousand. About a thousand to maybe like two thousand last year. How yeah. long? How big do you think it's going to be this I year? I was thinking twenty five hundred, but I'm thinking we're way past that. You think so? I think so. All right. What are your names? Where are you from? Ruth and Ray. Where are you from? Danville, Virginia. We are Jordan and Josh Kelly. And we are from Dunn, North Carolina, just south of Raleigh. Hey, we're here with Troy and Kelly from Red Tool House. Where are you guys from, to start off? We're from Southern West Virginia, actually just a little bit south of uh, Charleston, West Virginia. Okay. And why come to a conference like Homesteaders of America? This is our first time coming, mm -hmm. and uh, we're really excited. We saw a lot of uh, details about the last two years, and I thought, well, we got to try this out. And as homesteaders, you kind of become a little bit uh, introverted. You yeah. kind of own your own island sometimes. Yeah. And it's just really been fun uh, mingling with people that have a lot of the similar yeah, you know, we're all trying to do the same thing. We all have similar lifestyles. Uh, it's been just, a great community to yeah. be a part of. Yeah, I mean, so. just, great to meet the people. just hearing people speak, you, know, you get all the benefit from that because people are sharing their knowledge with you. But just just walking through and, and, and just fellowshipping with other people just to talk about, hey, we do this, we do that, or, you know, we've run into this issue, we've run into all this issue. Absolutely. It's been great. I mean, we, we, I think we got here as early as we could yesterday, and I think we were one of the few to leave at the end because we were just still enjoying talking with people. I think I'm looking forward to learning how to do more stuff with the produce that we have, like canning and butchering the chickens and stuff like that. Did you hear uh, Ann's talk this morning, Ann Aceta Scott, about uh, preserving? Yes, I was part of that one. So, she, okay. which one did you go to this one? I went to the meat rabbit demonstration okay. because we're looking into adding rabbits and quail and ducks in the future yeah. to raw feed the dogs. Okay. So okay. not only better food for us, but better food for them. Absolutely. Certain speakers that we're very excited to see, seeing the like other who? vendors. Like who? What speakers? Like Justin. We, yeah. Justin Rhodes. We're planning to see him in a few minutes. Uh -huh. and, and then we got to catch something about meat rabbits, which we're thinking about, just not quite ready for. Right. What about you, Ray? What are you looking forward to here? I'm looking forward to seeing Mr. Silas. It's been a big inspiration. We've been to his farm. And Holly really Face. Holly Face. Yeah. Holly we got to help with them processing roosters, and that, that was wonderful. So what's your names? I did the phone. Christopher? <laughs> and your name? I'm Jaden. Jaden? And I'm Robert, and we're all big fans of White House on the Hill. Where are you guys from? North Carolina. I don't know where in there. That's okay. <laughs> I, can I get your physical address, please? No, I'm just no, kidding. Don't, don't. I'm, kidding, kidding, I'm kidding, I'm your kidding, I'm kidding. Your social, your phone number. <laughs> yeah, I'm I can at least give you my mom. I can give you my mom's phone number. So who are you guys and where are you from? We are the Six Blind Kids and we're here from Northern Virginia, so we're not too far away. Oh, can you tell me everyone's name real quick for camera? Yeah. So we have Abby. Uh-huh. And Obed is down here. Hey, Obed. And Jesse. Hey, Jesse. Up here is Hannah. Hey, Hello. Hannah. Hello. This is Bethany. Hey. Hi. She's shaking hands. And this is David, our college boy. <laughs> All right, David. Mom is Karen, and Dad is Joe. Awesome. All right, so why come to the Homesteaders of America conference? Oh, the people are great. The, the animals are great. I'm Ben, and this is Andrew with VW Family Farm. 
We're from Central Arkansas. We have a farm and homestead there. So what brought you out to this event? Um, really the community. Yeah. We had heard, we almost came last year and then it just didn't work out. And so this whole year we kind of went back and forth and then we we're like, we can't miss it again. So. And then we, an extra bonus, Joe, meeting Joel Salatin. Yeah. yeah. We went yeah. to Polyface yesterday and, and actually ran into him. That was a super big highlight. Yeah. So. That was one big check off my list. Uh, Dom Bradner, and I'm from Linden, Virginia, just about 20 minutes from here. All right, and what brought you to the conference this year? Well, I went last year, and it was a blast, and the community is, you can't find it anywhere else. We talk to each other on the internet, and we see things on the internet, but to actually see everybody face to face, and uh, just form that bond, that community bond, yeah. is, it's priceless. And I think with what we're trying to do as homesteaders, we need to stick together and support each other. That's awesome. What are you looking forward to getting out of this event? I'm most looking forward to uh, the hog butchering. Well, I did the hog butchering workshop, but the hog raising workshop. And who was that with? Um, with Kaylee at uh, the Honeystead. Okay. And uh, she's raising mangalitsas really close to us, okay. right here. And so I want to learn all I can from her and uh, possibly start getting our first hogs next year. Hey, I'm Natalie. I'm from San Diego, California. And what brought you out to Home Serves America conference? Well, I have this dream to have a regenerative farm one day. I work as a counselor and my dream is to have people out on the farm for leadership retreats, um, group therapy, horticulture therapy. And I kind of set that dream aside, being in California and realizing how expensive it was. Um, and then I kind of felt like, no, that dream is there for a reason. So what can I do to partner with that? And so I just started growing food on my apartment patio, which has exploded into seven times that size. I've taken over the entire yard of our suburban situation. And uh, I'm just really passionate about growing food, getting back to the land and, and really healing from the inside out. And Home Centers of America, it's like, these are my people. So this is the one event I was like, Tommy, my husband was like, I have to go to this one thing. If I go to one thing, it's gotta be HOA. Right. And so I'm really glad to be here. All right, we're here with Blake Kirby, Daddy Kirby's Farm. Homesteading story. Thank you, and where are you from? Texas. Okay. Uh, that's a little bit away from this event here in Virginia. Was it worth the trip? Definitely worth the trip. Yep. Every minute of it. I mean, the, the time, the money and time it took to get here feels like nothing compared to what I'm getting out of this. I got this little llama plush toy. <laughs> yeah, make that sound. <laughs> so what did you what did you get out of the event? I was so involved with just hanging out with people, talking, and, uh, you know, creators and non-creators alike, people that are just here and sharing encouragement with each other, people yeah. encouraging me as I hope to encourage them and letting each person know that they're valuable. Uh, I I now accept that I'm valuable after a long time of feeling not. Good. Uh, and then being able to come in and, and share that with others and, and Good. let them truly know that what, what they're experiencing here is a community of people that are sharing value. Shepherd. My name's Tammy Shepard. Where are you guys from? Preston, Connecticut. All right, I like your shirt. Thank you. I'm a good friend of Al's. What are you looking forward to at this conference? Um, Justin, Rebecca, yeah. Meg and Ben. Yeah, they're cool. Jess and Maya. They're great too. They're gonna speak this afternoon. Yes. You gonna watch them? Oh, absolutely. All right, I'm here with Jason and Lorraine from Sow the Land. And where are you guys from? From Asheville, North Carolina. And this is, we've been here for the last three years. Yeah. Uh, me and my spouse Jason here. Just kidding. <laughs> Why did you decide to come out to this conference? It felt like it was like something that there's gonna be a lot, a lot of uh, commu good community there, like like-minded people, like, yeah. kind of in the same space. Yeah. And so I think that's what kind of drew us to this event. And it's just it's it's not it's cool to see it like how it's been evolving. So. New people, new speakers. Yeah, and Joel Salatin's speaking. Can I have your attention, oh, please? Oh. Will Willow's parents please come to the merchandise station? Willow! So yeah, we had a vendor booth here. We Did have, you speak? I, we all, I also spoke. <laughs> I just finished speaking. Uh, so, awesome. How'd so it go? First time speaking at this event. Uh, so it went well. It went well. Had a good turnout. All right, I found a familiar face from our neck of the woods. What's your name and where are you from? Brenda and we're from Duncan 1900 Homestead. That's right. In Missouri. In Missouri. All yes, the way out in Virginia. Good old Missouri. That's awesome that you made the trip out here. Oh yes. This is our second year being here. Have you where you've been here before? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we were here yeah, last year. Awesome. So, uh, so what brings you out? What do why do you come to this event? Oh gosh. All right, we're here with Chris and Jen from Sunshine Farm. Where are you guys from? New York. Upstate yep, New York. Upstate New York. Awesome. What'd you guys why did you come to the Homesteaders of America conference? 
Well, we grow a lot of our own food. Okay. Last year at this time, we kind of discovered the term homesteading. Okay. We like discovered that that existed. Yeah. And it changed our lives in terms of getting us excited about growing more, preserving more. Actually, the fact that you could do this. Yeah. Yep. Very changed abstract. our goals and what we're aiming to achieve on our property. Yeah. So we made a lot of friends and we wanted to meet them. Hey, I'm Dennis. And I'm Sylvie. We're from New Lister, Ontario, Canada. Uh, what are you hoping to get out of this conference? What are you, who are you hoping to meet? What were you hoping to get out of it? Oh boy, there's a lot of people that we watched. There's yourself, uh, Beck and Stacy, Justin Rose, and, Justin Rhodes, and so we're getting to meet all of them in person, which is uh, an honor and a privilege. My name is Craig Wilcox. I'm with Mother Utter Farm in Concow, California. Why come to an event like this? Well, we lost the entire homestead uh, in the uh, campfire up by Paradise, and we. Uh, have been coming to these conferences to try to get the motivation to get started. Uh, the animals just came back up on the land about two weeks ago. We just really want to get meet people who are doing the same thing we are, homesteading, and just really get back into it. I'm Brian. I'm Lindsay. <laughs> Where are you from? We're from Michigan. All right, and what brought you to the Homesteaders of America conference? Ah, we're excited to meet other people who are homesteading. We're living in the city okay. on about a third of an acre, and we were able to um, sell it and get a 20-acre property out in the country. So, what, what motivated you to do that? We've been wanting to uh, be a little bit more self-sufficient, not as reliant, be able to grow more of our own food. Uh -huh. We want to give our kids the ability to work and see where food comes from and be outside. All right, so we are here with Ben and Meg Holler from the Holler Homestead. What are you guys doing here at the Homesteaders of America conference? We are having fun. We are having a blast. This is the best event for this, homesteading. This is a collection of our people. Yes, we love it. Just wandering around, listening to speakers, hanging out with people. Tell me about an interaction. What, what if somebody that came up to you, you talked to, it touched you? Tell me about something like that. Oh, there's been so many. Uh, like, so many people that come up and are just, they're starting out, they're trying to figure it out, and they, through watching our channel, which just blows us away, they get inspired to keep going. And, because it is a struggle. I mean, every day it's like just trying to slog through when you're doing hard things and, or you don't know where to start and stuff like that. And just having people say, you inspired us to do what we want to do, what right. we've been dreaming to do for so long. It's just been so amazing. And like the energy is just, oh yeah, there's it's definitely so good. An energy here. We love the energy here. It's amazing. This event next year, do people need to be here? Yes. 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 Like, sell a body part. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I think the one get thing here. that you will get out of it is being like incredibly motivated and inspired. We love it. It's, yeah. it's just really neat. It's, it's definitely a good experience. overwhelming experience. Yeah, we're, we're sold. I think we'll, we'll come back every year to have it. Everyone has a story and every story counts. That's my thing. Bring your story to this greater community. Just bring it and be a part of it. I think you're going to go home after going to this event and be like, let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> let's make it happen. We enjoy, you know, watching and getting to know people, but it's, it's also knowledge, being able to move forward, you know, being able to take that step, even if it's not, you know, a hundred steps, if you're moving. That's what counts, right? You know, I mean, last year we weren't, you know, eating all uh, meat from the farm. This year we are. You know, we have so all, much, you know. It tastes so much better too. <laughs> it does. <laughs> it really does. It makes a difference in, in all aspects of our life. And, you know, God gave us so much. And <laughs> I'm getting a rolling. No, I mean, but Preach. really, you know, God gave us so much, you know. <laughs> and, and we have just turned away from that just recently you know what I'm saying and and now we can go back to the beginning and you know utilize what he has given us to sustain us well, I appreciate so. you guys appreciate you guys coming to the conference and thank you guys yeah. for watching these oh. were the people of the homesteaders of America conference yeah. we'll see you guys next year Woo! what's your name Benny Benny mm -hmm. you got chicks yeah I mean wait what <laughs> Wait, do you like chicks? Oh yeah, I like. I, li I thought you said do you, do you have? I mean, uh, do, you oh, do you have chicks? Do you have chicks? Oh uh, no, no. I I thought you said do you have chicks? And I was like, wait, no, I don't have chicks. All right, let's try that again. Okay. Hey Benny, do you have chicks? Um, no, that's yeah. not what I was gonna say. I was gonna say, do you like chicks? Oh. Hey Benny, do you like chicks? Yes. Yes. <laughs> we screwed that one up. <laughs>